Welcome to episode 14 of From A to Global Z. I'm your host, Dr. Bill Lord. Episode 13 provided an overview of how we are applying the North American Indigenous Sharing Circle toward our music making, friendship building, peacemaking projects. Episode 14 deviates from my intended plan to discuss options for creating music online. I knew I should have not predicted what the episode would be about, but again, turbulent times dictate what we reflect on and which are the conversations of the day. And as a result, episode 14 is a short reflection on a dozen or so scholarly studies that speak to how music making can be utilized to make peace and unify people of difference. Before we get scholarly, it's Mic Talk time. And this episode's Mic Talk gives a lesson to the Audio Technica ATM 230. It's a hypercardiodynamic dy mic that is most commonly used to record drums and instruments that produce lower frequencies. The ATM 230 is literally built to take a hit. It has a small footprint, which makes it easy to place on drum toms, snares, or in other tight spaces. Its hypercardioid pattern isolates the area recorded, capturing sounds directly in front of the mic while rejecting recording of unwanted sounds to the sides and rear of the mic. And since it's a dynamic mic, it does not need phantom power. For around 140 USD, you get the mic, a soft pouch, and a drum clip, which makes sense as the 230s primarily advertise as being a drum mic. But as with all mics, it might have a sonic characteristic that works great for other recording requirements. I own its predecessor, the ATM25, which shares some of its internal components, and I'm betting it sounds great on bass guitars and some horns. It might even be just what you need to capture a particular quality of voice. So as always, I recommend you experiment with all your mics. I'm always surprised at how different mics excel in unexpected ways. Now on with our show. At the time of this recording, news the past several weeks has been flooded with three big themes the continuing global sting of COVID-19, the 2020 U.S. presidential election, and the horrific killing of George Floyd. I feel as though I'm an actor in a bizarre Hollywood movie. You can't write this stuff. And unfortunately, such are the times we live in. And unusual times and circumstances dictate the conversations we have. The mission of the Global Z Recording Project is to unite culturally diverse student musicians through virtual audio production experiences. Essentially, Global Z is designed to discover exceptional student songwriters and musicians from highly diverse backgrounds on a global scale and bring them together virtually to create original commercial quality works. Through the music production process, scholars facilitate community building and promote dialogue on con concepts pertaining to value and acceptance of diverse others, civility, and peace-mindedness while creating cross-cultural friendships. We give peace a chance through music. Since day one, we've been focused on creating new friendships and unifying people of difference through the power of music. Our mission objectives, our project design, pretty much everything we do is based on scholarly, peer-reviewed research. I'd like to comment on a few research findings that are particularly relevant to Global Z and equally relevant to what we are experiencing these days as a society. All peoples, nations, cultures, classes, and institutions are faced with the problems of conflict and violence. Philosophers Immanuel Kant, Frederick Schiller, Herbert Reed, and Robert Scruton all claim that the arts represent the good in people and therefore vital to the cultivation of the moral personality. Changing how people think is not particularly easy, and only a transformation in the root character of human life can resolve the innumerable conflicts that afflict the world. Peace education programs that have the power to transform worldviews depend on the active creation of unity. Music has the power to transcend cultures and borders, it has the power to bring people of similarity and difference together, and it can create opportunities for understanding and dialogue. Music also has the power to change human beings and is a powerful media for mobilizing youth and providing a voice for marginalized populations. Ultimately, a culture of peace is created through the transformation of hearts, minds, and spirits in individuals and across society. 
and such transformation serves to inspire, resulting in the motivation of people to create opportunities for personal and social peace-building activities. Philosophers and sages throughout history have asserted the importance of music's influence on shaping the character and moral formation of the young. Mahatma Gandhi said, if we have to preach real peace in this world and carry on real war against war, we shall have to begin with children. Global society should teach peace education beginning with youth while they are in the formative years in order to foster peace-mindedness, which will then become part of their core being. Music can play a great role in delivering peace education to students. It can also help students develop an appreciation of others' cultures, heal emotional pain, and teach them the skills necessary to resolve conflicts peacefully through music. Uniting around a musical project allows students to develop a sense of community, a feeling of belonging, and being connected to the rest of the world. Once you define a commonality in people from varying cultures such as music, it creates opportunities for participants to establish lines of communication with peers from diverse cultures. Knowing that one child from one culture shares a common interest or value with a child from another culture sets the stage for finding other areas of compatibility. Through a communal musical project, participants not only develop feelings of belonging, but also respect for others and their tolerances toward others increase. This unity is conducive to building the framework toward peace. If hatred, violence, conflict, and wars begin in the human mind, then educated minds can vanquish wars through peace. Armed with a solid framework for peace education, educators can lead the way towards cultivating peace in their classrooms and communities, which contributes to the growing movement towards developing a global culture of peace. And when you combine the facilitation of peace education with building a community of practice around music, we have a powerful model designed to transform minds and unify people of difference. When researching or contemplating the intersection of peace and music, I refer to more than 70 pages of scholarly citations I've collected that pertain to related issues, and I'm always on the lookout for new literature. The findings and theories I've briefly discussed merely scratch the theoretical surface. The point I'm trying to make in this video is we don't have to harbor feelings of seething anger, polarities of hatred, or live in an us versus them mentality that is so prevalent in the world around us. We have a choice. You have a choice. We can choose to step back and try to understand life from another person's point of view. We can apply actions of dignity and respect toward others. We can better get to know someone who is different from ourselves by doing something like making music with them. I was recently interviewed for a local publication inter interested in introducing Global Z to their readers. One of the questions the interviewer asked was, what is it about music that makes our world better? I recounted a fairly well-known story from 1914 that occurred during World War I. On a cold and frosty Christmas Eve, German troops separated a mere hundred feet from enemy English troops began singing Christmas carols from their trenches. Surprisingly, English troops responded in kind. Eventually, enemies became just men, if only for a few hours, and they reunited in song. And once a bond of trust had been established, through music, they came out of their trenches, meeting in the middle of their respective sides, and celebrated a holy holiday shared around a Christmas tree. Music is a universal bridge builder, and it unifies people in dif of difference in ways few things can. It's a foundation from which great and greater things can occur, like forging a momentary creation of peace in the middle of a great war, or the building of modern cross-cultural friendships between student musicians from different indigenous tribes. We don't have to stay entrenched in our cemented ideologies. We can rise out of our trenches, cross over the battlefield, and get to know, understand, and demonstrate actions of respect and dignity toward those who are foreign to us or have a different point of view. Whether this happens through creating music, a basketball game, in community organizations, reducing global warming, whatever, it's a choice and a power each of us has the ability to make. And for me, I opt to gain a better understanding of my fellow men and women and give peace a chance through music. That is it for this episode. Until things settle down, I'm finished predicting what the next episode will be about. 
such are the times we live in. So the topic for episode 15 will be as much of a surprise for you as it will, for, will be for me. But until then, stay healthy, practice social distancing, wear your mask covering, and be excellent to each other. Wishing you peace through music. I'm Bill Lord.